What's going on there YouTube? It is a windy day, but I wanted to show you our Pimp Sun Moon. So it was flowering crazy and now we have fruit set you can see on the tree. So there's not a ton, but there's a lot. And uh, it does have some powdery mildew. And we, I can tell that uh, it's affecting the uh, fruit set. But we won't really be able to tell until about three more months how much fruit we're going to get for the year. And here is a quick look at the powdery mildew on the Pim Sun Moon. You can see where it just kind of damages the, uh, the stem of the flower and where the fruit sets. So I'm not going to expect this to stay, but who knows? It may, it may not. And you can see here that nice shiny... Uh, grayish uh, fungus there that is the powdery mildew and that's because um, pimp sun moon is very susceptible to it and once it catches it that's uh, pretty much it it just takes over so I've just been spraying with water to see if I can manage it uh, we'll know uh, within three to four months whether or not that worked and here is the Otis this is a seedling and it's starting to bloom like crazy now. Uh, so it's a little late to the party, but uh, it's looking good. And this one is better at the powdery mildew. So I expect to get a ton of fruit set from this, uh, like we do every year. So this is a very productive tree, and the fruit is very sweet. It tastes like a Valencia Pride, but a little sweeter. And it has a little bit more of a fibery texture. I know Valencia Pride is fibrous or fiberless. So here is our favorite mango tree of all the ones we have in the backyard. And this is a Bromchymia. So it is looking fantastic. And this one is our favorite because it's used to eat green and Southeast Asians like eating green mangoes and this one's very sweet when you eat it green. It's kind of like a guava, like a white Thai guava, very crunchy. And we use it with some dipping like salt and pepper. And it's looking fantastic. So look at this clump here. And that's just spreading like crazy. So I don't think I mentioned this, but we're talking about mango trees <laughs> for those who don't know. And we do have some powdery mildew on uh, the Bromchymia. You can see the silvery and the uh, whitish uh, on the flower. But this tree seems to handle the powdery mildew a lot better. Here's another look at the uh, Pim Sun Moon, the uh, flower there. You can tell that uh, the, the powdery mildew really did a good job on it. I mean, there are some fruits if you look closely but there's not a ton. You can see the white uh, fungus there. That's all over the stems. So next year I'll try to treat it with uh, a fungicide, but this year I figured I'd try just watering it down with water and seeing what happens. But I'll keep you guys posted and let you know whether that worked or not, whether we get more fruit set this year versus last year, which I didn't do anything to, so. And that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep updated on all the uh, mangoes here at the backyard and at the farm. I'll keep you guys posted for the uh, 2023 mango season.